welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I effectively use Java generics with mixed object maps in an application that wasn't originally designed with type safety in mind? Let's break down the situation. Our viewer is updating an older Java application to utilize generics, but they are facing a hurdle. The existing code uses maps that store various object types, including strings, dates, and custom classes, without any type safety. Currently, they are considering using a map defined as map string object, but they are unsure if this is the best approach. They also mention another option, map string, super object, but wonder if it offers any real advantages. In this video, we'll explore these options, discuss the implications of using generics in this context, and provide some insights on how to manage mixed object maps effectively without extensive refactoring. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's address the issue of handling mixed object types in Java maps. First, we need to understand the current implementation. The existing code uses a raw map, which lacks type safety. This can lead to runtime errors. To improve this, we can use Java generics. One option is to define the map as map string object. This allows you to store any object type while maintaining a level of type safety. Alternatively, you mentioned using map string super object. This is a wildcard approach that allows for flexibility, but is generally more complex. In summary, using map string object is the most straightforward solution for your current needs without extensive refactoring. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To work with mixed object maps in Java, start by creating a map with string keys and object values. However, this requires casting when retrieving objects. A better approach is to split the map into multiple maps with more specific types for better type safety. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Currently, you can replace the raw type map with map string object but this doesn't provide much useful type information. You'll still need to perform instance of checks when accessing values. One solution is to create helper methods that extract specific types from the map. For example, you could create a method that returns only date objects from a map string object. This approach allows you to maintain your original map while providing specialized views that leverage type information. However, it does add complexity to your code.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Java generics, achieving full static type checking can be challenging, but you don't have to rely solely on runtime casting. You can create a custom map holder to improve type safety. This approach allows you to use the common map for different types, like date or string, while maintaining type safety in specific sections of your code. By using this method, you can ensure that certain modules work exclusively with the correct types, enhancing the reliability of your code. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Avoid using raw types in Java. Instead, define your map with specific types. For example, if your keys are strings, set k to string. Even if your values seem to remember, all classes inherit from object. So you can declare your map as map string object. With this setup, you can store different types of values in your map. For instance, you can add a string, a date, and a custom class instance without any issues. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Converting from non-generics to generics in Java can be challenging. A simple method is to replace collections like map, set, and list with their generic counterparts. However, if the objects in your map are not generics or are only used for reading, you might run into issues. For example, if you store a map inside another map, retrieving it can lead to complications. When you try to retrieve and manipulate these nested maps, you may encounter type safety warnings or errors. Using wildcards can help, but it might not always work as expected. You have two options. Rewrite your code to avoid warnings or use object types, which will generate unchecked cast warnings. Suppressing these warnings is also an option. For more details on generics and wildcards in Java, check out the link provided. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.